Hi, my name is Dawn and I'm here in my backyard in Saskatoon in Treaty 6 territory today. And I'm here to share with you a board and buster. Um, this board and buster is going to be exploring how water, um, the water cycle. So what happens to water? Maybe you've noticed that there will be a puddle of water in your yard or in your alley or in your schoolyard and it'll slowly get smaller every day. What happens to that water? I'm not gonna tell you the secrets of the water cycle just yet. So we're going to do an experiment and when you're watching the experiment work today, you can try and guess what's happening. And then after the video of the experiment, then you'll see a little bit of a science session with my daughter, Anna, and she'll explain the water cycle to you. So this is what we need for today. We need a Ziploc bag. I'm gonna use a little bit of blue food coloring and some water and I'm going to decorate my bag a little bit. I'm going to draw a sunshine in the corner with some Sharpie markers, and I'm gonna draw some clouds, because I enjoy clouds. They're gonna be, I'm gonna do a long skinny cloud. So I'm decorating, you can decorate your bag however you'd like to. And then I'm going to put just a few drops of blue food coloring in here. And we're gonna pour in the water. And that's all we need for our experiment today. So now you're gonna close it up and you're gonna leave it in your yard, somewhere really sunny. I'm gonna tape mine onto the back of one of my deck chairs. I'm just gonna tape it there and we'll show you what happens. Science Corner with Anna. Hey everybody, so we're going to be talking about the water cycle today. So now there's four super important steps, but first I'm going to just go over what the water cycle kind of means. So a cycle means that all the steps are connected. So if the first step in this reaction happens, all the rest of them are going to follow and it's a cycle. So it'll just keep going and going and going. So the first step is evaporation. So that's when you have a liquid. So that's our lakes, that's our oceans, that's our puddles. And it's going to go up and transform into the gas form of water. So when we breathe, we breathe in oxygen gas. And it's just like that. It's just water gas. And it's going to go all the way up into our atmosphere. And it's going to create the super pretty things that we call clouds. So the second step is condensation. And that's when the clouds and the water up there that's in the gas form, it cools and it's going to make some liquid water again. So the third step is precipitation and that's when the cooled water that's in a liquid form is going to start falling down from the sky in things like sleet or hail or rain which we see and it wouldn't be Canada if we didn't see a lot of snow which is also another form of the precipitation step. And the last and final step is collection and that's when we get all that liquid water back into our oceans and our lakes and our fun little puddles that we get to splash in and the lakes that we go get to swim in and the oceans. So thanks for watching!